Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second part of my introduction to regular expressions tutorial. In this part, we're going to take a look at some exercises to help us better understand all the concepts we learned in the first video. But uh, before we do that, um, I want to talk about two more special characters, which I forgot to mention in the first part of this tutorial. So the first special character is the backslash. Uh, we have already saw uh, backslash can be used with some letters to represent predefined character set. But we can also use backslash uh, combined with some special characters in regular expression um, to actually omit the meaning of that special character and just to match the character as what it is. Um, let's take a look at an example. So let's start this program. Um, and then, um, for example, if our regex um, is um, abc backslash dot xyz, uh, normally the dot symbol it's a special character in regular expression, which means uh, basically it matches anything, right? But if we put a backslash in front of the dot, uh, it means that we want to match a dot instead of uh, any, any character. So let's try this. Um, so if I want to match this regular expression, I have to uh, the string would be abc dot xyz, right? This is a match, um, but if I do, um, if I try to replace the dot symbol with any other characters, it won't be a match. So uh, let's try that again. So xyz, and then if my string this time becomes abc um, question mark xyz it won't match, right? Because the backslash um, negates, like omits the meaning of the dot symbol. So it means that we want to match the dot instead of uh, whatever special meaning it has. Now let's take a look at another example. Um, so normally uh, we use dollar sign to represent the end of a string. Um, but if we put a backslash in front of the dollar sign, it will just match a dollar sign. So for example, if we have ABC backslash dollar sign, um, we will, uh, it won't, it will match, it will only match the string with ABC dollar sign. So this is a match. Um, and we can also use backslash to actually uh, omit the meaning of a backslash. So for example, if we want to match just a backslash, uh, what we can do is we can say ABC backslash backslash XYZ. And this time we will match a backslash. So it will match ABC backslash XYZ. See, right? That's how like we can use backslash to omit the meaning of a backslash. Now let's take a look at our next symbol. Um, special character, which is the uh, vertical line character. Um, this character means or. So um, basically what we do is uh, we can have two separate groups separated by this vertical line and we want to match uh, either the group before the line or the group after the line. So for example, if I have one, two, three, and then a vertical line followed by X, Y, Z. Uh, it means that either match one, two, three, or match X, Y, Z. So for example, if we have a string um, starting with like some random sequence and then end with one, two, three, uh, it will match the one, two, three. So if found the one, two, three at the index seven and ending at index 10, um, we can um, also do uh, one, two, three, um, line and X, Y, Z. Um, this time, if we have, for example, X, Y, Z, and then some random string, 
and then one, two, three, um, it will be matched twice. So first, it find x, y, z starting at index zero and then at index three. And then it keeps finding uh, the one, two, three, which is at the end of our input string. Um, so this is basically a or operation. So either find the uh, part before the uh, vertical line or the part after the vertical line. Now, in order to use this or operation with other regular expressions, uh, we need to wrap this inside of a pair of parentheses. Um, so for example, if we want to test uh, ABC following by either one, two, three or X, Y, Z, our regular expression would be uh, ABC and then uh, closing uh, opening paren, uh, one, two, three, uh, vertical line, X, Y, Z, and then closing paren. So this will match ABC one, two, three, um, or uh, um, ABC XYZ. Now with the two new additional symbols out of the way, uh, I want to jump right into the exercises. Um, so I prepared four exercises and the first two are pretty easy. And then question number three and four are uh, kind of difficult and complex. Um, so let's start with number one. Uh, it's to, we want to match any password that have at least one uppercase letter and contains no white spaces. And option A, B, C, D are all valid password. Um, they all have at least one uppercase letter and no white spaces. So um, let's see how to uh, create the regular expression to match this kind of password. Um, so we don't want any white spaces. Uh, so what we do is we use the backslash uppercase S to represent any non white space character. And then uh, we can repeat this um, zero or more times because there is no uh, length requirements on our password. So we can repeat it zero times or more. And then it must contain um, at least one uppercase letter, which we will use a character set to represent that. And it is from uppercase A all the way to uppercase Z. And then follow that, it's a, again, backslash uppercase S, repeated zero or more times. Um, this way, uh, we will match all the password uh, required uh, this, at least one uppercase letter, which is this, and no white spaces, which is the backslash uppercase S uh, before and after our character set. Now, so that's question one. And let's take a look at question number two. So um, we want to match any email addresses. Um, so in order to match email address, like in real world, uh, it is very, very complex. Um, here, I, I want to uh, simplify this problem. Um, as long as the email address have a add symbol, and as long as the domain name contains a dot, uh, we're considering as a valid email address. So what we wanted to do is to first match, uh, there are at least um, some characters in front of the ad symbol, all right? So what do we use is uh, character set, and inside of the brackets, we want um, a backslash lowercase w to represent any word character um, or we want to match dot. So we, we need to omit the meaning of dot in regular expressions. So we need to use backslash dot. So this means we want to either match a word symbol or a dot. And the whole thing must be repeated at least one time. And follow that is our add symbol. We want to match the add symbol. And then 
there must be some word follow the add symbol. So we use backslash lowercase w again. And then um, this must be repeated uh, at least one time, right? And then we want to follow a dot. So we use backslash dot. Um, then after the dot, uh, it could be anything. So we use um, the backslash lowercase w backslash dot character set again. And this time, we still want it to repeat at least one time. So there must be something, um, some word or dot after the first um, dot symbol. All right. So this is the complete regular expression to match email addresses in our case. Um, this is a simplified version. Uh, so if you want to use it in production, you might need to tweak this um, to match your requirements. Um, but this is just uh, for the uh, purpose of this tutorial. Now, question number three is we want to match any decimal numbers. Um, it includes like uh, negative numbers, positive numbers, integers, scientific numbers, and the numbers represented with uh, special characters. So, um, Let's see how to uh, how to write a regular expression uh, for this kind of operations. Um, the first thing to consider is the minus sign, right? Negative numbers. So it is optional. So we use a question mark, follow the minus symbol, and then it will follow any digits, right? So we use backslash lowercase d. Um, and then this number will be repeated at least one time. Um, after that, um, we will have either um, a colon or a number repeated at least one time. And this will, the whole thing, so this whole thing can be repeated uh, zero or more times. Okay. And then after that, it's a optional um, decimal points. So uh, we use a parentheses and the whole thing is optional. And inside of the parentheses, uh, we could have is a decimal point and follow the decimal point are some digits repeated at least one time. And then um, we need to consider where uh, scientific numbers are represented. So we might have a E. So um, this whole thing is again optional. And then we could have is E, right? And then followed by some digits repeated at least one time. So this is our whole complete regular expression to represent all these options um, to represent decimal numbers. Um, it is quite long and kind of um, hard to understand at first. But um, just remember this just practice and step by step. Um, it is there. Uh, you will get it eventually. Now, the last problem is to I want to match any phone numbers. Um, those phone numbers are represented in the um, US kind of style, uh, where they have three digits, and then another three digits, and then followed by a four digits. Sometimes it connected by a hyphen, sometimes there's just a space, sometimes there are uh, parentheses uh, around the uh, error code. And sometimes there's nothing, just a just a string with no space, no hyphen, no nothing, right? Sometimes there's country code in front of the uh, area code. Now, so for things first, um, the country code is optional. Now let's get that out of the way, and then we could have follow the uh, country code. We could have is a space or hyphen, right? 
So what we want to do is to use space or hyphen. And this is optional. So next, um, we could have is a parentheses. But um, since parentheses have special meanings in regular expressions, we need to use the backslash to omit its meaning. And this print, open, opening print and closing print are all optional. All right, so we need to follow question mark around it, right? So question mark followed by the opening print and question mark followed by uh, a closing print. And inside of the parentheses, uh, what we could have is a our three digits, right? So we use a another print and then backslash D. We need to have at least three uh, digits. Now, uh, right here, we need to skip this, like amidst the meaning of the closing print again. And then uh, follow that, we could have is, again, um, this part, either a white space or a hyphen. And it is optional. So let's write that. Um, so backslash lowercase s hyphen and then following a question mark. Um, next, we have a, again, three digits. Um, and then it optional um, white space or hyphen. Now it's the end of the regular expression, which to match the last four digits, which is backslash lowercase d. And then inside of curly braces, we have four. So now this is the complete regular expression to represent um, basically all of the major forms of uh, phone numbers formats in the US. So based on your country, your uh, phone number style, you might want to tweak this a little bit. Before we wrap this tutorial up, uh, I just want to quickly show you guys a regular expression cheat sheet in Java uh, that includes all the things that we talk about, as well as some of the uh, Java classes and methods um, to use uh, regular expressions. Uh, this will come in handy when you need to use them. Uh, so I will put a link in the description uh, for you to download this uh, cheat sheet. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys learned something and I will see you next time.